So this is the Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge demo, and it's actually good. It's not nearly as bad as Ninja Gaiden 3 was. This game is actually pretty fun. And a lot of the really bad things about the gameplay in Ninja Gaiden 3 are fixed. And there's lots of stuff to do in the demo. I've already beaten the demo a couple times. So we're just gonna jump into Ryu's level. Because you got two levels, you got one with Ryu and one with Ayane. So Ryu's got a couple weapons to use in the demo. He's got he's got a sword. He's also got the Falcon's talons and the two swords. But you don't start with the two swords. You gotta unlock the dual katanas. Let's just go over here and get a golden scarab because those are here. But it's not gold because I already got it. So it's just a silver scarab. Lots of upgrades you can get in the demo. According to the demo, these uh, all these upgrades will carry over to the real game. I've got everything for Ryu and Ayane, except for Ryu's costume. Which costs a million karma, huh. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. So combat's a lot better in this game. Uh, obliteration techniques are back. Those are always fun. You cut a guy's limb off, then you can just immediately finish him off with a really nice looking move. It's good to do that, just because when a dude's missing a limb, he can do a special grab that does a lot of damage to you. So you gotta take him out. Also, enemies actually put up a fight in this game. They didn't really do that a lot in Ninja Gaiden 3. At least I'm assuming they didn't. I didn't play Ninja Gaiden 3. I played the demo of that game. I didn't feel like wasting my money, you see. You can do ultimate techniques in this game, too, when your sword is glowing red. Well, let's not waste it on this one man. Let's get some more men in here, and yeah, let's do it. Also, Rio has a bow. It's really powerful, actually. That was a counterattack. You can do those by just, you know, pressing an attack button while you're blocking when an enemy hits you. I'm really bad at countering, though. That was actually an accident. So this game is actually violent, unlike Sigma 2, which is the last game before 3. It looks like they tried to find a balance between having there just be tons of violence and gore, and also having the way Sigma 2 did it when you cut a guy's limb off, where there'd be a big glow when you did it. This game has that too, but it's a bloody glow. Also, guys will scream when you cut a limb off, so it's much easier to tell if it's happened or not. Nah, that could have gone better. So we have Nimpo as well. Let's use a different weapon. The Nimpo is the orange bar below the health. It fills up when you kill stuff. And using Nimpo will regenerate your health. Health works the same way it did in the last couple games. Um, getting hit takes off health, duh, but also it takes off some of your max health, so you can't get all of it back when your health regenerates. Another scarab. Now the Falcon's talons are really fun in this game. There's some great obliteration techniques with these things. There's lots of guys with rockets appearing out of nowhere. Let's just shoot them with a bow. The bow kills weak guys in one hit, usually. Then again, guys with rocket launchers have way less health than regular guys, as they always have. Yeah. 
That is great. Kick the guy through the chest. And you can still do obliteration techniques when the guy is missing his head. Because he's not missing enough limbs, you see. Also, you can't do obliterations when the guy is missing two limbs. Because if he's missing two limbs, he's just going to die. Also, wall running. Wall running is the same as it's always been. You just jump at a wall in an angle and you'll just run across it. It feels like you're kind of stuck to the wall a little more than you were. Also, you can still do ultimate techniques the normal way just by charging them, but you don't get any essence in this game at all, so you can't use it to absorb and power up the techniques. So it's kind of not a good thing to do with those, ever. Let's use the dual katanas. I like how one of the swords is Genshin sword from the last game. So there's quick time events in this game, but they actually make sense. Like here you just press the dodge button to dodge things. You know, makes sense. Gotta shoot that man, because he has a powerful rocket launcher. So enemies have lots of tells. You'll see them like glowing red whenever they do powerful grab type attacks and things like that. Yeah. They were obvious than they were in the last games, but, you know, hey. The enemies actually attack, so that's good. So look at that, they're actually doing damage. That's so different from the demo of the last version of this game. Oh, rocket launcher, man. And that one there. You gotta take those guys out quick, because it's a pain to... Yeah. Have rockets falling on you and trying to sword fight. That was a steel on bone move. I'm not sure how to do those, actually. The game's never really explained how to do them in the demo, so I'm not really sure how to pull them off. Here's an Nimpo. Let's reuse Inferno Nimpo. About the same as it's been in all the other games, just fire as much of fireballs at guys. He also has the, um, I forget the name now. The Wind Blades? It's about the same as it was in the other games. Anyways, let's just hit these men. Not doing so hot here, huh? I don't have any Nimpo to regenerate my health with. I did that really poorly. But here's this fight. These guys are hard, actually. They have lots of magic, and they also have these shields, which... You can tell the shields are up because the guy's hands are glowing blue. You hit him with a strong attack. It'll break the shield, but all light attacks just bounce off it. These guys jump around a lot. They launch attacks from off screen. They're... These guys are dicks, basically. It's like I was really happy I cut his leg off. I hated that leg anyways. Let's get some health back. So when their hands are a little red, they're trying to drain health from you with a grab. It's pretty easy to get out of, but it, even if you get out of it quick, it still gets some health. God, sit still, Jesus. There we go. Yeah. 
You see the light attacks just bounce right off that. Gotta hit it with some strong attacks. Which is why this fight's kind of hard when you first play the demo, because not a lot of the strong attacks are really any good. Not, when, not until you upgrade a sword or something. Also, Ryu's slide is really nice. It actually counts as hitting guys, so it can stun them. It doesn't stun every enemy, but most guys. S for health, really? Okay. Whatever you say, Ninja Gaiden 3. So Ryu murdered men for 8 minutes of the day. What do you do for the other 23 hours and 52 minutes? Still can't buy the costume. I'm pretty sure I know what it looks like anyways. So that's Ryu's level. Let's play Ayane's level. But let's not do chapter to challenge with it, because then we won't get to see the cutscenes. Because you don't see cutscenes in chapter to challenge, let's just go new game and pick your level. to ruin your vacation, but we need you, Ayane. I'm not doing this for free, Irene. The government declared their opposition to the Regent of the Mass. They acted way faster than we thought they would. It's good we got him before they could. It's also good that she can just casually talk while she's murdering men. So Ayane's a lot better than she was in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. She's actually bit more balanced. She can actually reliably kill guys and delim people now. But she was kind of... Uh, how do I say it? Unreliable at that sort of stuff in the last game? Okay. So there's a golden scarab over here. I don't know if I found all the golden scarabs in the demo. Feels like I did, but I don't know. Doesn't really matter, though. It's just a demo, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha! They're heading for the presidential residence. The resistance won't hold out for much longer. You have to hurry. Yeah, you can still shake their tits around with the control. It's really dumb. Another quick time that, but you just press the attack button. Makes sense, you see. This whole 
area is under their control. Be careful. I'm being very careful, see? Very carefully ripping people apart with my blades and... Let's check a look at Ayane's ultimate technique. In a minute. Ayane's is a bit like ne reuse wind blades. Which I didn't show. Oops. But it just kind of murders everybody in a line. So here's some armored men. They are invincible to Ayane's shurikens, which blow up. She doesn't have a bow like Ryu. She just has shurikens that explode. Well, not shurikens. They're called kunai blades, but, you know. You press the shuriken button, so... So much for taking it easy in Paris. Yeah, this always happens when I go on vacation, too. And they'll probably give you a VIP vacay next time you're in town. Murder these men and you'll get rewarded, Ayane. Yeah, so Ayane can do... An Azuna drop? Is that the move is called? I am so forgetful about these move names. She can do that move too. Let's get out of here. Oh, he you dick. I have I had a I had a nice streak going there of murdering people. And then you had to ruin it. Well, there you go. Now they'll never be able to identify your body. So these guys have explosive charges in them because when you stab them they kind of blow up. Yeah, they has some like small swords. You'd think that wouldn't wouldn't happen. Oh, it's just ninja magic or some shit. Who cares? Hey, these aren't black spider ninjas. These are tactical ninjas. Come on now. They're totally, totally different, you see. So, it's time for a boss. It's three of these men. 
but it's slightly different men than the men Ryu fought. These guys have swords. They're also easier, because they don't do the little hand magic nonsense. Oh god. Camera has some problems in this fight, because it's Ninja Guide and the camera's still not great, but it's... It's okay, I guess. But it's locking onto these men right now, sort of. It's kind of a bad thing. Oh well, one down. What does to say about these guys, is there? Well, they have swords. They don't jump around as much as the guys that Ryu fought. Oh, I'm not doing too hot here. Oh, man. Oh, gotta, gotta fight a little carefully here. Uh-oh. Well, this is gonna be a close one. Nice work, Ninja. You sure don't fight like a little girl. Who are you calling a little girl? Oh, oh, oh witty banter. Who is Irene? No, really, who, who is Irene? Who is this character and why should I care about them at all? Uh, well, upgrades. So that's pretty much everything in the demo. Um, it has a hard difficulty, but eh. This game is actually worth buying, unlike Ninja Gaiden 3 was, so that's something, right? <laughs>